Abrams. Um, <laughs> his, his personal, I think it's a self-portrait, honestly. I think he drew it. His personal self-portrait is just a circle squiggle line with a smiley face in it. And if you see the video or if you know what Casey looks like, you'll completely understand why. The man is just a hairball. So there you go. Casey Abram with Get Out on Off the Beaten Path podcast. Uh, again, thanks to Ray Scott for stopping by. Uh, don't worry, we're not going anywhere yet, but that was a cool interview. I, did, I had no idea that he just went to Europe for a couple of years and did his thing over there. So country music's worldwide, man. Just like Brantley Gilbert said, country music is, or country must be countrywide. I think it's more worldwide. So, all right. So there we go, Casey Abram. Now let's move on to a couple of guys that are a little closer to my home uh, here in the Midwest, northern Midwest there in St. Paul, Minnesota. That's the hometown of Bob Dylan, by the way. So they got a pretty good pedigree, at least from the hometown. Uh, they travel around doing their speed grass, as they like to call it. Friends with fellow speed grass uh, underground artists trampled by turtles. This is Pert Near Sandstone. Check them out at Pert Near Music on Twitter and Pert Near Sandstone on Facebook. There it is. This is Pert Near Sandstone. With their tune, Ship of Fools. It's off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Find Off the Beaten Path on the internet. Country radio, on computers, on Facebook, internet, internet, and Twitter.
is locked, but you still got a key. Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt, and there is Tristan Prettyman, and my oh my. Tristan, uh, check out her new album. Uh, it's the first album since she's uh, she's kind of taken some time off. Tristan Prettyman. Um, again, check her out on Twitter, by the way, at T Prettyman, uh, and also on Facebook at Tristan Prettyman. That's T P R E T T Y M A N, not E N. So, uh, but Tristan. She had a pretty rough couple of years, as a matter of fact. She took a break. She's got three or four albums out. Uh, this first of three albums, well, first since her first three albums. So this will be her fourth studio album. It's due out here pretty soon. It's called Cedar and Gold. Um, but she took some time off. She took an extended break from music. Originally, it was kind of for a good thing. She got engaged. Uh, then she traveled the world for a little while. She had a little bit of surgery. She had some polyps on her vocal cords. Uh, and, and then sadly, her, her engagement fell apart. Um, she kind of worked through it. She wrote some music, obviously, to, to get herself through it. And uh, now she's thankfully back doing her musical thing because uh, that would be, you know, be one heck of a voice to lose. So, uh, so again, Tristan Prettyman, uh, Cedar and Gold, the new album coming out uh, very soon. That was a tune, my oh my. Ben Merritt, hanging out with you here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast, trying to introduce you to some new music, some new country music. Uh, may it be the fringes, which is kind of what this episode is all about, apparently. Other than Ray Scott, who is a very traditional, hardcore country music artist, which is spectacular. Um, and I love Ray. Ray, Ray Stevens, my kind of music. That was 
honestly probably one of my favorite songs from 2003, I think is when that one came out, if I remember correctly. So, uh, But this one, we're kind of focusing on like the fringes of country music, you know, the bluegrass, the folk, the Americana, uh, you know, the, the speed grass, if it were pert near sandstone. So, um, but again, it's, it's all country music at heart. So it's just got a different twinge, different twang to it. So, so there you go. Uh, speaking of which, this guy's kind of got the bluesy twang to him. And uh, it's Mark Broussard. Check him out on Twitter and Facebook. He is surprisingly active on Facebook and Twitter uh, for considering that Mark has got a pedigree. I mean, he's kind of a, a pretty decent size independent name. So uh, new live album from Full Sail University, which is a broadcasting university in Florida. So Obviously, the sound is going to be spectacular. Uh, bro- they do everything. I bet you. I bet you. Actually, what they did was they contacted Mark and they were like, "Hey, we want to do like a senior project. Can you come in and record a live studio or a live album?" And he goes, "What's it going to cost me?" And they're probably like, oh, "Nothing. We'll do it. We'll do all the production and stuff." Because Full Sail University, they're they're top notch when it comes to uh, video production and audio production and just show production too. They've got a, a big show production group too. This message not endorsed by Full Sail University. <laughs> so here it is. Here's Mark Broussard. Uh, this is Cruel. Be sure to look for his new live album as well, live from Full Sail University. Uh, here it is on Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Keep me believing you are free. 